In this section of the training, we will be covering the steps to set up the NVR for remote access. The first step is to set an IP address for the NVR that is compatible with your network. To do this, go into the configuration menu and select network on the left hand side. If you would like the NVR to pick up an IP address automatically, enable the DHCP option and click apply. Otherwise, you can set one manually like we are in this video. We are going to give this NVR an IP address of 192.168.1.164. Next, enter the gateway address for your network. Lastly, let's enter our DNS server for the high DNS service to register. If you're not sure what DNS address to use, you can either enter your router's gateway address or a public DNS site such as 8888. Click Apply to confirm these settings. If you're not sure what you need for your network, you can select the DHCP option or continue watching the video and I will explain how to find your network scheme and gateway. Next, confirm that the UPnP option is enabled and click the Edit button next to the HTTP port. The values entered here will be the ports that will need to be opened on the router. A suggested port would be 8080, 8000, or 8081. You can use almost any port that is not already being used by another application on your network. Click Apply to confirm these settings. Now, we'll use a computer that is connected to your network to set up the router and DDNS information. If you do not know your router's gateway or what IP address scheme is currently being used, you can use the ipconfig command. To do this, click on a start menu, go to accessories, open command prompt, and in the black box, type in ipconfig. And press the return key. Scroll up on the list until you see an entry for IPv4 address. This will tell you your current IP address, below is the subnet mask, and the gateway address for your network. Close this window and open a web browser. Type in the gateway address. This will give us access to the router in order to set up port forwarding. Log into the router. If you are not sure what the username and password is, consult the user manual of the router. In the firewall section, look for an option for port forwarding, or sometimes called gaming in applications. If you are not sure where the setting is, consult the user manual and look for port forwarding. For this router, you select the IP address of the device from the drop down menu. Next, select the custom port option and enter the port that you chose from the previous steps. For this application, we're going to open port 8080. Click Apply and check that it is in the list for the port forwarding rules for the router. To confirm that port forwarding is working correctly, open a new page and go to canyouseeme.org. and type in port 8080 with a port of your choice from the previous step in the what port section. If the page says that it can successfully see you, then you can proceed to the next step. If not, confirm the IP address and port of the NVR is entered correctly into the router. If you have any problems, consult your user manual of your router. If you have a static IP address from your internet provider, you can use that and the HTTP port you opened in the previous steps to access the NVR remotely. If you do not have a static IP address, you will need to use the high DNS service so that you can access the NVR regardless of if your IP address changes. The first step you will need to do this is to go back into your router 
and open port 8000. This is the port that the NVR will use to register with the HiDNS service. Next, on the NVR, go into the DDNS option in the configuration menu. Enable the DDNS option and enter a device domain name. This will be the address that you enter into a web browser or the Guardian Expert app to reach the NVR. Press apply and go back to the computer with an internet connection. Go to the HiDDNS.com website and select Register a New User. You will be asked to create a username, a password, enter a certification code, your real name, and an email address just in case you forget your password. For demo purposes, I will quickly complete these fields and continue with the video. Once a login has been created, you will get a message saying register success and you can now log in. Log in and click device management on the left hand side. Click the add button and enter the device name of the NVR you entered in the DDNS setup on the NVR. Next, you will be asked to arrive the serial number of the NVR. This can be found on the side of the NVR on a white sticker. The next field will ask for an HTTP port. This can be kept at zero as the DDNS site will do this for you. To remote view this NVR, I will type in hiddns.com forward slash simply demo. For your NVR, you can use hiddns.com forward slash your device name. This concludes this section of the training.